This is the full process behind three shades of blue. I really just wanted to play around with three different colors of blue that I could blend together and have some fun with. I also wanted to fill the whole page with these three different colors. I chose to start off with the darkest shade of blue. I thought it would be a good building block to put the rest on the outside of this. I have a lot of people asking me to do real-time drawing and not do a time lapse. So here it is in the real, real time. Going back and editing these, I get to see, see the whole drawing take shape and it's a different perspective besides just me drawing it in the moment. It's like it's somebody else drawing and it's not me, which is weird in of itself, but it's also kind of fun. This lightest shade of blue that I'm putting down right now is one of my favorite colors. It's really close to ultramarine, which was originally created from the gemstone um, azurite, crushed up and made into a paste with oil. It's that super vivid, bright blue that really catches your eye and draws your focus in. These really long lines, um, I'm drawing from my shoulder and I have a, a tutorial about that as well, about hand movements and, and arm movements to help fatigue. But a lot of these are, are kind of difficult to do just pulling from your shoulder. But it's oh so much fun to be able to see the finished product and how it moves and waves and the shapes and, and curves that, it ha that happen from it. I made up a couple of rules for drawing this piece. Um, one is that I wanted to alternate colors back and forth. So the uh, super dark blue would be touching um, not itself again. And then I would alternate between the middle blue and the, the light ultramarine blue so that it would give more depth and variation of color and contrast. I do stuff like that with pretty much every one of my drawings. I'll come up with little rules or um, little guidelines to stick by for either um, that specific drawing or just in general, I'll come up with some new ideas to, to give myself some restrictions to create different pieces and different effects. I would have said about this point, I think I had stepped away from this drawing for, oh, maybe a week, week and a half. And when I came back, I noticed that my, my, my style had changed a little bit. My lines were a little farther apart. Um, things weren't blending as nicely as I wanted originally. Things just change sometimes. And I had to take a step back and, and focus on other stuff in the meantime. But I feel like it didn't hinder the, the piece's beauty overall. It was just something that I noticed at this point. In the moment, I do remember being a little frustrated with myself for not being able to, to get back into the same mindset and do the same thing over again. But that's, uh, that's something that I'm sure every, everybody deals with. They, they take a break or have to step back for a little bit. And when they come back, mindset has changed. So things don't feel the same. They don't feel right. But that's just part of creating these pieces and just being an artist in general, or a human in general, there's all sorts of things that happen that can change your mindset between one event and another. I generally don't like to draw on the edge, like all the way out to the edge of the paper and try to continue my lines there. It, it It's hard to do and it's just uncomfortable positioning most of the time for the hand or like this spot right here where I had to do a couple little little tick ticks before I could actually get the the pen to flow just right but I had to have the whole page covered in lines I think it's about this point that I crossed over into about 10 hours of work on this piece. I think it took me a total about 12 and I should keep track sometime, but um, I'm pretty sure it's in that area.
sometimes it's fun getting it down to the the final little section the final corner so that i can see the whole the whole progress the whole process kind of finishing up wrapping up that's uh it's one of the piece parts that i really enjoy if you like my work and you want to see more i have all sorts of social medias instagram facebook TikTok, youtube all the all the main ones i would say find me on whichever social platform that you like the most um i have a lot of not a lot i have some tutorials up on youtube as of right now uh, giving a few pointers some tips and i'll be making more as time goes on it's just hard to find the time between working and uh, being a human and having to live don't forget to like and subscribe um, if you have questions or anything like that, throw it in the comments below. I always love hearing from, from people, getting, getting ideas. I actually have a, a spreadsheet going of different things to cover, some content. Here's the finished piece. Maybe 12 hours of work, like I said. Unsure exactly, but I think it turned out just about the way I wanted it to, aside from those couple of frustrations. Let me know what you think. Thanks.